Hello and welcome everyone. In today's class, we'll be talking about liver. So when we talk about liver, we all know that liver is a wedge-shaped organ. It means its shape is like a triangle. You can see it from the figure also. It looks like a wedge or a triangle. The next one is, it is the largest gland of the body. Okay. Next one, it is dark reddish brown in color. And the weight of the liver is around 1.5 kilogram. When we talk about the liver, the location of the liver, it is located in the upper right portion of the abdomen beneath the diaphragm. It is also have a cover. It is covered by the membrane, which is known as glycine capsule. If we talk about uh, the heart, heart is covered with the help of pericardium. When we talk lungs, ki baat karte hai, lungs are covered with pleura. Ke Same way, liver is covering, hai, which is a part of visceral peritoneum, commonly known as glycine capsule. What does it do? It liver ko cover karte hai. The next important part is about the lobes and the segmentation of the liver. Okay, you will know that the liver has four lobes and the liver has eight segments. When we talk about the lobes from the anterior part, when we visualize the body from the anterior uh, view, we can just see two lobes of the liver. That is the right lobe and the left lobe. You can see from the image also, the right lobe is bigger as compared to the left lobe. And this division is possible with the help of a ligament, which is known as falciform ligament. So, an anterior view, se, aapko liver jo hai wo, liver ki do lobes dikhengi. One is right and the next one is left. And this division is possible with the help of a ligament. The name of that ligament is falciform ligament. When we look the liver from the posterior view point, we can see that there are two more uh, lobes present. One is your caudate lobe and the other one is your quadrate lobe. Okay? So, when we talk about the liver, ki, liver has four lobes. One is right lobe, the other one is left lobe, the next one is caudate lobe and then we have the quadrate lobe. These are the four lobes of the liver. The next important part is segment. So we have seen there are eight segments of the liver. That is, you can see here, this is the first segment, second segment, third segment, fourth segment, fifth segment, sixth segment, seventh segment, and the eighth segment. Now you'll be thinking, what is the, the clinical significance of this segment? It is very important because each segment has its own blood supply and its own blood drainage. This means that if from the surgery point of view, if one segment has been removed because of any reason, okay? If you segment ko aap remove bhi kar dete ho, the other part of the liver will not be affected. So, this is very important uh, factor, especially when we talk about the liver transplantations and the liver surgery. The next thing is about blood supply. As you know that every organ inside the body has is blood supply. Okay, ye kya karta hai? Artery ke through every organ. Every organ takes the blood through uh, the artery and that blood contains oxygen rich blood as well as the nutrition rich blood and then afterwards it drains into the veins. But there is some special thing uh, with the liver that it has a dual blood supply. What it means? It means that the hepatic artery provides the oxygen to the liver and the portal vein provides the nutrition to the liver. So this is something which is special about the liver. Kya hai? Ki sirf ek hi artery isko nutrition or oxygen nahi deti hai. The liver has been supplied by the hepatic artery. The oxygen is been supplied by the, uh, the oxygen has been given by the hepatic artery to the liver and the nutrition has been given to the liver with the help of the portal vein, okay? And then after the metabolic processes which is happening inside the liver cells, the, the blood will be drained through the hepatic vein, which will be joining with the inferior vena cava and then will be moving towards the heart. Heart ne kya hota hai? Pump hota hai. Jo deoxygenated blood tha, wo lungs me jata hai and lungs will be providing it the oxygen. So this is how the blood supply of the liver as well as the blood uh, drainage of the liver takes place. The next important part is liver lobules. So we talked about liver lobes, we talked about the segments and the next one is liver lobules. So the uh, lobule is the hexagonal structure 
which has hepatocytes they are radiating in the they are lined up in the rows we'll see it in the uh, form of a picture so you can see this is how the liver lobule is made up of liver has plenty number of lobules which are uh, doing the work function of the liver so here you can see this is the one structure the structure of one lobule as we have talked it is the hexagonal structure and yahan pe kya hai beech mein you have a central vein and then you have the rows of hepatocytes here you can see these all are the hepatocytes theek hai ye aapke sinusoids hain you can see these are the sinusoids we'll just see if we talk about each corner of this uh, hexagonal structure you'll find there is three things there are three things written okay that that combination of three things is known as portal triad portal triad mein kya hai you have the branch of the hepatic artery the branch of the portal vein and the bile duct every corner of the liver lobule has portal triad which has three things one is your hepatic artery branch then the branch of the portal vein and the bile duct okay and then these all will be joining towards the central vein with the help of a sinusoid we'll see one more picture which will make this concept very clear to you people so if we see this picture we'll see this is a portal triad triad mein kya hai you have a part of the portal vein branch of the portal vein you have the branch of the hepatic artery theek hai jo oxygen hai wo hepatic artery ke through aa rahi hai nutrition jo hai wo portal vein ke through aa rahi hai liver ke lobule mein these two will be joining with each other and this is known as a hepatic sinusoids okay iske through the blood will be given to the hepatocytes sorry here we'll see yahan pe jo blood hai these are your hepatocytes hepatocytes are the major liver cells so ye in uh, sinusoids se oxygen or nutrition rich blood ko lega for performing its activities and afterwards these will be drained into the central canal theek okay? hai the, the the middle part which we saw in the last picture that was the central canal and third part of the portal triad which is the bile duct ye kya karta hai jo hepatocytes hain उनके अंदर बाइल बनता है और वो बाइल जो है वो इस बाइल डक्ट के इट विल बी सिक्रेटेड इन दिस बाइल डक्ट विच विल बी पासिंग फ्रॉम हेयर टू दी हेयर ठीक है तो दिस इज हाउ द द लॉब्यूल्स आर वर्किंग सो व्हेन वी सॉ व्हेन वी सी हेयर वी कैन सी लीवर हैज वेरियस सेल्स कौन कौन सी सेल्स है वी कैन जस्ट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर इट हैज हिपेटोसाइड्स देन देर इज अ स्पेस ऑफ डिजे then we have the sinusoidal endothelial cells then you have a sinusoid which is a uh, like canal for the blood circulation then you have the kaffir cells then you have the stellate cells and here this hepatocytes ki jo side mein hai that is your bile duct so basically liver has various forms of cells and they are different different functions which are performed by these cells so when we talk about the first very important cells they are your hepatocytes liver cells theek hai inko liver cells bhi bolte hain bolte hain and they constitute 60 to 80% of all the liver cells inka main function kya hai they metabolize the lipid they metabolize the drugs and they also secrete the coagulation and the complement factors the next one is your Cholangiocytes. Cholangiocytes are three to ten. They occupy about three to ten percent of the liver cells. They are also known as biliary epithelial cells. And in their work, what is it? This they line the bile duct and they secrete the bile. The next one is Kaffir cells. Kaffir cells are also known as Broca's Kaffir cells. जिनका मेन रोल है इम्यूनिटी में बेसिकली दे फेगोसाइट दे डू दी फेगोसाइटोसिस ऑफ पैथोजेंस एंड दी ओल्ड आरबीसी दे वर्क एज अ पार्ट ऑफ इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स देन यू हैव दी स्टिलेट सेल्स नोन एज हिपैटिक स्टिलेट सेल्स इसमें क्या ये क्या करते हैं दे दे स्टोर द लिपिड एज वेल एज वाइटामिन ए एंड दे परफॉर्म दे प्रोड्यूस दी 
myofibroblasts. Then you have LSCCs, they, that is your liver, sinusoidal endothelial cells. Ye kya karte hai? They are lining cells of the sinusoids, which we saw. The sinusoids are the cannuliculi, where the uh, the branch of the portal vein and the branch of hepato hepatic artery, they meet with each other. And this uh, sinusoidal epithelial cells are also having major function as uh, in the immunity. And then you also have the stem cells, which helps in the liver regeneration. So, a peculiar feature liver ka ek aur hai that liver cells are regenerative in nature. That is all possible because of the stem cells, which are also known as the progenitor cells. So, these are the cell types. Kaun -kaun si hai? We have the hepatocytes, we have the cholangiocytes, we have the cuffer cells, we have the stellate cells, we have the sinusoidal endothelial cells, and then we have the stem cells. So, uh, the next important part is about the functions of the liver. You know that liver performs more than 500 functions in the body. It is very important organ. Okay? Out of which, the important functions are, it produces the protein. It produces albumin, globulin. It produces the cholesterol. It produces the bile, which is important. It, it helps in the breakdown of toxic materials like alcohol, medications, detoxify. Karta hai. It destroys the old RBCs. Blood ko purify, karne ka ka, detoxify. Karne ka, ka ka. This has been done by the liver. It processes the nutrients. Whatever we eat, that will be processed by the liver. And it also produces the coagulation factors, which helps in the blood clotting mechanism. So they are many functions which are performed by the river and this is one of a very 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 important organ so that's it for today's class we talked about uh the gross anatomy of the liver about the uh the lobes of the liver segments of the liver lobules of the liver the portal triad and the major liver cells and briefly about the physiological part or the functions of the liver also thank you so much everyone